Good morning, everyone. I am Mr. Guevara, or just plain old Mr. G. Uh, so you guys are going to be my uh, period six global studies group. Uh, now, before we begin, I want to talk about where my room number is, because I know there has been some issues on Infinite Campus in regards to my classroom not showing up. So I'm over in room 309, building 309 in the 300 building. I'm closest over to the culinary and digital media building. Um, so I just want to get that out there to clarify. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about uh, today is how the course is going to be laid out and what expectations are in terms of how the assignments are going to be done over uh, digitally for those of you who are, are um, not coming to campus physically, as well as what the assignments uh, or how the folder is going to be set up. So first things first, um, go on over to Schoology. Now, hopefully, since this is your second quarter here at Santana, you guys should be familiar with logging on to Schoology. But just in case you forgot, uh, when you go onto the Schoology website, whoa, the lights went off. Give me one moment here. Okay, I'm back. So you're going to use your... Uh, GUHSD email to log in. Now you will see obviously all your classes here. So for us, Global Studies Period 6 with me. Now, right now, nothing is published on Schoology. So your guys' screen should be blank. But in the future, eventually you will see become like this. So for example, you'll have week one folder, or week two folder, week three, so on and so forth. So on Monday morning, around eight o'clock, I will post the first week. But I want you guys to first do um, these things in order. When you log into Schoology, I want you to review the student calendar for week one. Here on the calendar, you will see what our unit is going to be. And you're going to see the assignments. Now, the assignments for all my weeks are going to be split up into two different folders. A Monday through Wednesday folder and a Thursday to Friday folder. So for week one, we have one, two, three, four, five different assignments to be completed. For Thursday to Friday, we have one, two, three, four different assignments. So that's the way it's going to be set up for both the students who are doing digital learning only and for those who are coming in class physically as well. Now, when we're in class, we're going to do some type of activity or instruction as well. So for those students, we will do something in class. And for those distance only students, you will have your own folder in every single week with the alternate assignment that you guys will complete. Okay? So first thing I want you guys to do when you look at the new folders when they appear is to look at the student calendar to see what the week is going to look like. So let's jump into week one so I can show you what I am talking about. So as you can see, we have three different sets of folders. And some weeks we, I might have four. And the fourth one would be for the in-class assignment. Um, but I'll go into more detail into that for the following week. So like I said, we have a Monday through Wednesday folder, a Thursday to Friday folder, and a distance learning students only folder. Only those individual students who are assigned for digital distance only will have access to this folder. So if it's Thursday or Friday and you come to class, if you're part A, B, C, or D, don't worry, don't freak out if you don't see this folder. It's not for you, it's for the other uh, distance learning students only, okay? So if we click on Monday through Wednesday folder, you will see here as well the dates. And you will also notice how everything has some due dates as well. Everything for this folder is due on the 14th, Wednesday night at midnight. And just follow every single assignment down the line. Don't skip over one. Make sure you do them in order because some of these assignments are chronologically um, in order for a reason. Okay, my lights went off again, so I'll just do it in the dark, I guess. Um, so, as I was saying, you won't see the Thursday to Friday folder until Thursday morning. Now, I am not going to remove any folders that are from the past because you may use those in the future for a different assignment or for a different... Um, purpose or in case you need to catch up to do your assignments because they were turned in late that's totally fine okay so none of these folders will be removed once they are published okay 
I'm sure from your other classes as well, you know how to submit and turn these in, but just a quick little review. All you gotta do is click on the assignments, open them up, and then from my end it's different, but all you gotta do is just fill these out, and then you will be able to submit it because you all have a different type or a copy of it in your guys' folders, okay? Uh, now, whenever we have some type of PowerPoint slide or demonstration that uh, is going to be posted online, I will post the slides as well as a video in which I am narrating it as well as giving you some extra information. So once those weeks show, show up that have those assignments or those PowerPoints, I will post a video of me narrating it, uh, narrating, narr narrating it as well as um, notes that you can fill out and submit as well for um, for your assignments as well for online. Okay, I'm also going to host a online tutorial time on Fridays. Right now, it looks like it's going to be from 1:30 to 2:30. Uh, so I will post a link on uh, on the website uh, through Schoology. I'll actually post it through an update to have the link for the Zoom call. Um, that way, if you have any questions, uh, you let me know during the Zoom call. Or if you have any questions during the week, feel free to email me or if I see you in class, ask me in class. But for the most part, the general time for quote unquote tutorial uh, will be on Friday afternoons after class. So most likely around 1.30 to 2.30, okay? And I will post a Zoom link online and anybody can drop in as well, okay? Um, so yeah. All right, guys, I hope we have a great quarter and I cannot wait to see you guys uh, during the week. Uh, just a reference or a little clarification, uh, my room is 309 over in the 300 building facing the Culinary and Digital Arts building. Uh, and Monday is Group A, Wednesday it is Group B, Thursday Group C, and Friday Group D. All right, guys, and I will post um, the first folder here on Monday morning. Take care, guys. Bye.